Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to kind of go over a video that I tried to film a few weeks ago at this hotel called Gaia. It's here in Manuel Antonio and um, we went there to basically go and check out a Scarlet Macaw Reserve where you can donate and help the cause and give them food, etc. So we did that and honestly I was really troubled with creating this video because I wasn't really able to get the shots that I was really hoping for. Like I don't know why but I really put into my head that I would see more birds up close, maybe see a baby, see them get fed, etc. But that just wasn't the case at all. And I still do want to show you guys the clips that I did get and give you guys the information that we obtained from that day. So basically, I have some clips. We weren't able to see as much as I would have liked because what they do basically is they try to have a no contact situation with the animals, which is ideal. I thought about it and I was like, yeah, okay, I didn't really need that photo with a parrot on my shoulder, right? Because the idea is to see them in the wild. And I mean, I think the best thing about the experience was the fact that I realized that I'm actually able to see the wildlife just from my own balcony better than in the reserve, which is actually a really good thing because it means that they're expanding and living without the help of humans trying to allow them to exist, right? So, which means there's less poaching, etc. because they are almost extinct, endangered species. So, I'm gonna show you what I did get from that day. So, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get to it. Hey guys! Today we are going to be doing something super, super cool. We've just arrived to Gaia Hotel, which has an on-site reserve for Scarlet Macaws. So we're gonna be going and visiting them. And basically what they do is they raise the birds until they're old enough to go off into the wild on their own. So we're gonna go check that out and get a little bit of an explanation of what they do here and how it all works. started in 2013 to get the permits and everything with them now and we brought the first group of macaws and we had their first release in 2014 uh, it was a big deal because we we have like the pioneers so like older birds that were more mature and more wild so they will go out first and like explore the area and when they came back we release the others because they will be like the teachers or they will oh, guide wow. them so they are thriving they are they are happy and and we are happy because the community and people have been very respectful mm -hmm. we haven't heard about any anybody trying to hurt their macaws so that's that's really good from the egg to hatching is like 20 25 days oh, okay. and it takes like four months for the baby to leave the nest oh. and they stay some months or until the next breeding season with their parents because when they leave the nest they don't know how to eat oh. so they would their parents would be feeding them okay. until they learn but they, they are very they can fly and follow their parents but the parents will go and feed them every time in the amazon they go down and they leak clay but they don't do that here because they say we have more sodium in everything in the soil because we are close to a beach so there's sodium oh. everywhere and in the Amazon is like a lack of like sodium so they clay. will go and lick clay and the parrots and the macaws will flock together and lick the clay <laughs> but they don't do it here that's crazy mm -hmm. what I have for you guys for today. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of learning a little bit. As I said, it's not a whole lot of video that I was able to get just because it was a very quick, fast paced situation where we didn't get to see a whole lot, etc. But 
just know if you guys ever do come down to Costa Rica, you will probably get to enjoy the incredible birds just like I do every day. And like honestly, it is just the coolest thing because the first time I ever heard them, actually I can hear them right now. Um, like the first time you ever hear them, you're like, what the hell is that noise? And it sounds like some like dinosaur flying through the air, right? And then it's just like, oh shit, it's this big red, yellow, and blue bird flying across the sky. And they're actually pretty big, right? But it's really cool and there's so many of them now. So they're doing really well and we're really happy about that. And if you guys are interested in donating to the reserve or anything like that, um, I'm going to leave the link down below in the description box. There's also like a volunteer program too if you ever do plan on spending time here in Costa Rica, which you can be a part of. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!